Hey, it's Eric from ThinkWell, and today we're gonna to make coffee in one of my favorite places, the woods. To pull out the old Coleman camper stove and the percolator. Made it out of molded aluminum. Look at this butte. For those of you who haven't used a percolator, th these are the parts. It's, it's a real basic, real basic contraption, but uh, man, this makes some serious coffee and is like a real old school way of brewing up, but it's awesome. Let's brew some, let's, I wanna show you guys how to use this thing. So this is an old, you know, 1985 Coleman stove here. Just gonna open this puppy all the way up. Tuning knobs open. That's right, 40 year old technology. Nailing it. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do 600, so that means 40 grams of coffee, 600 grams of water, small little percolator amount. Okay, 200 more, sweet. So we'll do 800, we'll do 800, that'll be great. 800 is 50 grams of coffee. Okay, so we put 800 milliliters, 800 grams, milliliters and grams, same measurement. All right, put it in here. So that means I'm gonna do 50 grams of water that I put into this, all right? So I'm gonna put the lid on this so it'll heat up faster. I just need my grinder. I need my scale. You know, people get all stressed out about having to weigh their coffee. They wanna be able to like do scoops you know, how many scoops should I put in to my brewer? I mean, scoops are fine, but weighing is definitely better. It's definitely better. Beans have different, there's a different, like a different roast and a different origin. Beans, the actual individual bean has a different weight to it. So you can have the same bean and I roast it at a high temp or roast it at a low temp and that single bean will weigh differently. So if you're scooping it, you have let's say 60 beans worth in a scoop. Well, 60 of these beans is heavier than 60 of these beans. So um, your ratio is off because the ratios are all built around measuring weight, not volume. All right, we got, we got ourselves 50 grams of a 415 Ethiopia Asikana. Now I went with a little bit of a higher roast temperature for this brew method because a percolator is doing a completely different way of brewing than how a pour over works. How a pour over works, you're dumping in water, it's going in the grounds and then it's passing through the grounds and then going down into your server. Percolators are built off of the whole concept of boiling water. So you have this little basket. <clears throat> we're gonna take our beans, we're gonna fill the basket up, and we're gonna put this whole contraption down into the percolator. Water pressure from boiling water uh, shoots water up out of this tube and then it falls back down on top of this basket which distributes the water onto the grounds and then it drains through the bottom of the basket and back down into the water. So you're like re-brewing the water over and over. You have like, and it's boiling, so it's boiling, which is like, this is the hot, you will not get any hotter coffee than like percolated coffee. And it's super extracted. You're like taking co coffee and brewing it into more coffee. Like you're taking liquid coffee and like brewing more beans. So it gets, um, fully extracted, <laughs> fully extracted to do this. All right, the other thing that you gotta think about here, 
you got to think about grinds. Got to think about grind with the percolator. And you know what? Look at this stuff here. That feels like it's maybe just a little too fine. I wouldn't use the same grind for a pour over that I would do for a percolator. So I'm going to loosen my burrs a little bit to open them up just a touch. Let's grind it again. We got a little chunkier. That's what I'm looking at right there. So if it were really, really fine powdery, this would be like the most intense, like it would be so, such an intense cup of coffee. So we're gonna make our grounds bigger so that it's not so easy to extract. So that when we're doing the method of a percolator, which is over and over, really hot water, going back over the beans, um, we're not gonna, we're not gonna make it um, like so easy to extract from the grinds themselves. So, all right, we got ourselves a nice full cup of coffee here. I'm gonna just pour this in, get it evenly dispersed. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put our cap on it like this. It's steam coming out of here. So we'll, we'll see. I'm going to put the cap on. So now it's submerged and as it gets hotter, water will come flying out of that fall, hits this cap. The cap pushes it right back down and flows out over. But you'll see pretty quick, the color will change color of the liquid. But as far as like, ways to make coffee out in the woods. This is a pretty enjoyable sit around, eat your oatmeal and let the percolator do its thing. There you go. Check it out. Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right, that looks great. Let's go with that. I'm going to shut my burner off. Here it is, folks. Camper coffee. At its finest. Look at that. Glorious, dude. Glorious. That's a fine cup of coffee right there. Well, hey. Thanks for joining me out here in the woods today, doing some camper coffee, showing you a couple different methods. This is amazing. So be well until next time.